113 Questions About Evolution with John Perry. Hanging out with Cousin Paige, Malibu Edition. Could mermaids actually evolve? Could mermaids evolve? This is a question I've gotten a lot. There was a documentary on, like, the Discovery Channel, I think. It was like a fake documentary about mermaids. Oh. And, oh, it was so dumb. I hate it when they do fake documentaries on the Discovery Channel. But, so yeah, people have been asking me this a lot. Could mermaids evolve? Some people are asking me, are mermaids real? Like, they actually think that they might be real. Because there's all are these they? stories, right? Are they real? There is no evidence that mermaids are real. However, on the question of could they evolve or could mermaids be real, uh, we do have an example of this, and that is whales, right? Whales started out as land animals, and then they went to the ocean. So I suppose you could have an ape or a hominid group that evolves an aquatic lifestyle. I mean, that could happen. But it won't be half human, half fish at the right. bottom. Right, that would be weird, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna be like some beautiful redhead in a bikini, yeah. <laughs> in a shell bikini with like a fish tail. Oh. That's, that's not gonna happen. It's not. But you could get, I suppose you could get like, uh, you know, you could get Michael Phelps to turn it to evolve into a, you know, his offspring to evolve into like marine people that are really good at swimming. He has uh, he has abnormally long feet and hands for his body size and a couple other little weird traits that make him extra good at swimming, besides the fact that he practices all of the time. But you could get a population of humans to evolve towards a marine lifestyle if over thousands of generations you had constant, consistent, intense selection pressure that's only rewarding individuals that are better and better at hunting and gathering in the water. So they're better at swimming or holding their breath and controlling their body temperature and so on. But by the time the population became fully aquatic, it wouldn't really look human anymore. Right? So if mermaids did exist, they wouldn't be these like, you know, gorgeous women in the ocean. Yeah. But there is no evidence, sadly, that mermaids exist. There are a lot of stories from sailor, like older stories from sailors and, and history, but it's kind of hard to trust uh, the testimony of someone that's been out at sea for months at a time, probably malnourished and maybe drunk. Yeah. Sorry, that was just derogatory towards sailors. People who have these stories where, well, it's, oh, there's a beautiful woman on the beach and then she jumped into the ocean and swam away, that's probably you're a long ways away and you're seeing like seals or something like that flopping into the ocean and you're kind of desperate because you haven't seen a woman in years or months. So it doesn't look very trustworthy, those testimonies. And you'd think that by now, because everybody has a camera phone, uh, you'd think that someone would have legitimate f video and photos of mermaids if they were indeed real, aquatic apes if they were indeed real. There is actually uh, a thing called the aquatic ape hypothesis, saying that a lot of the differences between humans and other apes might have been because maybe we went through a semi-aquatic period in our evolutionary history that other apes did not go through. Like uh, Some people have suggested that walking upright is a result of that, because when you're wading through the water, chimps and stuff will do this. When they wade through the water, they'll stand up and they'll walk like humans. Also, the fact that we have no fur, um, you know, maybe, maybe that was to help us swim faster or something. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense though because a lot of aquatic animals, aquatic mammals have fur still, like seals. And they have short fur, but they still have fur. Mm -hmm. And there are other, other ideas for why we lost our hair that make more sense. Like once, once we had invented clothing, uh, having less hair would actually help for lice and things like that. It's easier to get rid of lice if you have less, less hair. And there's pretty strong evidence that we actually evolved not for swimming, but for running. So a lot of our aerodynamic properties of our bodies are for running long distances, which, cool. yeah. You can get down with that, right? Yeah. Also the way that we feel when we run, like people get addicted to long distance running. Yeah. Our knees are very different than the knees of other apes. And those differences allow us to run, run long distances. So there's, the aquatic ape hypothesis is one that there's just not a whole lot of data to support it, but it stays alive because it's kind of a cool idea to yeah. think that we were 
we oh the other thing that makes us seem aquatic is that our fingers get pruned in the water mm -hmm. and that gives us more grip and that's not just our skin swelling with water that's actually like uh an evolved trait could mermaids evolve i suppose so they wouldn't look like humans anymore though and they definitely would not look like ariel <laughs> and do mermaids exist there's no good evidence for that so sad <laughs>